Um, so that's that. Um, hey guys, it's uh, Grammy One here. Um, let me check if everything is good. So Neo PVP um, it just got released today, and it's fun. I would say it's very very fun. Um, I'm here. I want to talk about uh, some more in-depth things that you may not hear a lot of people talk about. So, I'm from a Souls background as you guys should know, and this type of connection that we're looking at right now is a Dark Souls 2 system. So this is quite important. So that basically means that if you ever fight people from overseas, forget it. I would say this is going to be a pretty poor system, pretty poor PvP game for people to play if you have if you're not connecting with someone locally. If you connect with someone overseas, it's going to be a bit of a a bit of a bitch because it's a one check system. What that means is if I attack them on my screen and it hits, it's hits. It's a guaranteed hit. Right? If they hit me on their screen, it's also a guaranteed hit. So if you can see here Basically that means that, see that? It will warp me, I'll get hit. You can check out the clips and you can see there's pieces where I've clearly dodged but I'll get sucked into the attack, which means that on their screen, they hit me clean. But on my screen, even though I dodged in time, it doesn't count. So compare that to say Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3, where if you can dodge in your screen, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you can iframe the attack. You can't iframe here, and you can't block as well. So that's the difference in this game. So compared to Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3, where, okay, if there's a bit of lag, right, you can at least still protect yourself. So when they, if it's on your screen and they're attacking you, you can still dodge in time. Whereas in this game, or Dark Souls 2, if they hit you on their screen, that's it. So you have to pretty much be dodging or blocking ahead of time a lot ahead of time so same goes with parries so with parries you may notice a bit later on you might be able to see it where when I do parries you have to be clear depending on the connection a full one second to maybe two seconds ahead of time to get the parry which is pretty similar it's pretty similar to the Dark Souls type connection any Dark Souls in terms of parry where you have to parry on their screen so you can't really reaction parry, depending on lag. You can't really reaction parry at all, but you can, however, do predictive parry. So it's not that OP. Another thing you will notice when you're playing this game um, is that old combos don't really work anymore. So what do I mean by that? So you would see beforehand, you might have seen that when someone's out of key, you can knock them down and you can do a combo, that doesn't work. However, there are some other combos that's in the game, which is pretty cool. What you would have seen in the first clip is that combo there where you do the moon slice into the um, yeah, eye strike, basically, that, that combos. So that pretty much wraps up everything I want to talk about, which is mainly the connection issue. It's very different from Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3, where you don't have any iframes to rely on. Where if the opponent hits you on their screen, and if it's a laggy, it's going to be a guaranteed hit. No matter where you are on your screen, you're going to be sucked in like a vortex, sort of like a Dark Souls 1 backstab style in this game. You would have noticed that through the clips actually. Um, Want to talk, touch upon, touched upon parries, where it has to be prediction parry, which is the same as all Souls games. And the cool thing about that is it's highly punishable because it, because it's not a two-way check system. It's a one-way check system for parries. At least after the attack, when they whiff it, if they whiff it on your screen, you can still hit them. So in that sense, it's sort of is good. And thirdly, is about combos. Your old combos don't seem to work. However, your, your new combos, which you may not have seen before, which I've not seen before, like the overhead chop that does a full flat down knockdown effect, that's pretty crazy. And you can pretty much one shot people. So all in all, I played about an hour's worth maybe of PvP. I think it's very interesting. It could be very fun depending on your connection style. 
However, the damage is still tuned up way too high for this thing. There is healing that you could do, but still, I think, I think you need to go max level. Like this is about 150, 135. I try to use a level 69 weapon and I still do massive damage. So I do recommend people go most probably to high 200, 300s, maybe 400s to see how that goes, if it's any better. But at its current, current style, I think that the damage is still too high, may not be as enjoyable. But I do think that if you use all the tools available, including your heals, you know, your, your magic or your ninjutsu and stuff, maybe it could turn out to be quite interesting. But first of all, make sure you have a good connection with everyone. Okay, cheers. That's my number.